busy, busy, busy blonde. Is it me? Oh my goodness. What is above us? Skywalk. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Well, technically, we're not in downtown Kedipafos, but guess what? We're going to take you there very, very soon indeed. Right across the road is the King's Avenue Mall. That's the King's Avenue Mall roundabout. If you go straight over it and keep on going up the hill, you come to the Paphos Old Town, but we're going to take you down from the King's Avenue Mall, deep into the downtown Kedipafos Harbour. But before we do, I'm going to introduce you to the dancing, the prancing, most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin. Grassi via la bouche. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. It's a little bit how beautiful temperature is it now. Do you see, Mr. There's Paul? It's a slight breeze. It's a slight nice. breeze. And it's a slight atmosphere of, there is no humidity, but it's slight atmosphere of nippy nip of nippy autumn, nip, yes. of autumn already of, nips in town. of course there is no signs of autumn whatsoever yet never mind winter but we wish it was be raining a little bit no we don't over the road is the king's avenue mall all lit up there like a christmas tree we're standing underneath what's called the pathos skywalk there it is, up in the heavens. And that's a raised platform above some of the catacombs and some of the archaeological parts of this part of downtown Patforce. Now, if you want to go on the Skywalk, it's totally free of charge. or well, that's how it is at the moment, but there are rumours afoot that soon there might be a turnstile or two put in. So if you are in Patforce, come into Patforce soon, make sure you go and do it. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed. Now, we're going to take you in that direction. In around about seven or eight minutes, we are going to get to the downtown Kedipathos Harbour, or the main event, as we call it. But let's get some words from watching the city Well, I don't think it was... Uh, I don't know if it was catacombs or no. What I think, really, because we have never lived uh, two or three hundred years I ago... I think it was a bit longer than that. I, it was, it was, it was. And But what I think, yes, it was a sort of rocks, like a, a mounted, mounted rocks. And slowly, with the time, they've just uh, turned... What they've been attacked. Turn, turned well, they've to actually the rock. caved Catac them out into caves or catacombs. Catacombs, in order to bring a little bit of history, because every century was trying to do a little bit of historical moments uh, or the places you understand me what i mean mr Paul? i think you do shall we keep going we shall my michelle i like shall, i like that very i like we'll see that look, look how these are beautiful some of the rocks, how the beautiful way. it is look at the structure and the shape and of course there are spotlights out and about and then up in the heavens that is some of the Papal Skywalk. So it's quite nice to walk at night because it's pretty well lit. But we are going uh, that away. And of course, that away is the way to the downtown Keda Papos promenade and harbour area. We're going to chitter chatter. I'm going to point out one or two businesses along the way and show you some of the catacombs and eventually get you into the Keda Papos harbour. And the idea of this video is to show you exactly where the King's Avenue Mall is because often people are, should we say, shy of adventure. But it's very, very simple. All you do is come to the end of the promenade. Just as you enter into the harbour area, you take a right and you walk up to the little harbour roundabout, which will be coming up very, very shortly. And then you just keep going straight along this road to the King's Avenue Mall. Very, very simple indeed. And depending on your fitness, depending on if you've got Littleys or that kind of thing, it will take you approximately 10 to 15 minutes. But of course, along the way, there are bakeries and there are one or two cafeterias where you, of course, can rest your weary little feet and perhaps have a tot or two en route. Bit dark in this area, Christina. The, the, yes, this is what I was going to say, that a few areas quite good lit up, but a few moments of this pathway is a little bit still... Uh, I would say 
could be better. Could, could be, be better, better, yes. But as we come into this section now, they've spent an awful lot of money. There's some nice new pavements, and across the road is the main entrance onto the Skywalk. And then this coming up on the left-hand side is the main entrance into the catacombs, hence why it's all lit up. But I wouldn't go in there at night if I was you, because you might find the odd snake or two. What do you think of that? Oh my God, if I find a snake or two, I'll be hanging you on my own bra. Well, hopefully it's blue, because that wouldn't be a bad time to go, would it? So these are the catacombs, all lit up for you. And they do look quite spectacular at night, by the way. In the daytime, of course, it looks a little bit, well, like a rock. But of course, when you come at night time and the floodlights are on, they do look quite spectacular. So if you are in downtown Kedipathos, why not spend a few hours coming up towards the Mall and perhaps having a wander? And that's the main entrance into the catacombs. But like I said, I don't think I would go in there at night or make sure you've got a, a very good torch or at least a mobile phone with a light on it, that's for sure. Because the lights ricochet in and they do look beautiful. There's some beautiful rock structures, there's no doubt about that. And of course, they've been here for quite a long time, thousands of years, obviously. So that's the main entrance, like we're saying, if you want to go for a wander in the catacombs, but we're going to keep on going, aren't we? He's so carefully listening to you. Look at this white and there black is, cat. It? There's a white and black just cat going sitting somewhere. on the rocks over there. And he's wondering what the hell is going on. And now he's going to come Aww. over and have a little chat. <laughs> After a couple snakes to be eaten, I think he's coming to us. What a lovely one. Wow. He says, hello, you friendly hey, tourists. Have you got any one. food? Yes, wow. Ukumo, how are you doing? Are you hunting for a snake or two? He says, no. you haven't got any food. That's it, I'm off. He wanted the food he and that's food. it. If you, you don't want to give him the food, he's running away. And of course, in this way, they are always protecting themselves. What a beautiful hole I can see from here. Hold on, you see the booth? I've seen a hole and there is a hole. See, you can go straight through this part of the catacombs and it's quite <coughs> well lit so i'll keep on taking you through see adventures on the little channel known as marika and me but please please be careful because uh, well it's uneven ground shall we say we wouldn't want you to fall over and break a leg or two but as marika would say luckily you've got two what a beautiful picture it is opening from this side I know it's a simple rocks, but whether it was created as a catacombs or it was in the beginning a catacombs, but you look in the you look in the pre last century, I would say, and you understand how huge the nature is. It is indeed spectacular rock formations in downtown Head of Pathos, and a lot of people do come to Pathos to go and look at some of the archaeological sites, and of course this is one of them and there are quite a few scattered in and around downtown head of path force feast your eyes and digest what's that raised platform there grisibula booth this is quite a modern structure i would say uh oh here we go dancing at chichuchka winter season is coming It always ends with a very, very good oh, Come on, we'll see the Alibouf. She's getting practice in because winter All the season snakes is coming. Run away! All the snakes run away. I don't want any people to be woke up by me. I don't think some people live in here. Well, many years ago, there might have been someone living in there. Here she goes. Go on, one more time, and then we're going to continue on our little walk to the downtown Kedah Platforms Harbour. Ho! Ho! Always ends with a very good ho. Come on. Let's I've get lost going. five. I've lost five kilos. And you lost five kilos. Yes. There we are. A bit of exercising en route from the King's Avenue Mall down to Go to Pathos Harbour. Yep. So if you like what you see, please hit the like, smash that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for our madness as we take you on our travels in and around Pathos. And of course, if you'd like us to go somewhere, why not drop in the comments and you never know. That video may be coming very, very soon indeed, especially for you. And of course, if you like us that little bit, 
want to go and hunt a stand on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, because that's where you can gift us that virtual coffee as a thank you and of course as a gesture of goodwill. Or like many people, join us as a superstar member on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. If your name is Duke Phil and there's a girl in your life called Duchess Sharon, we thank you very, very much indeed. If your name is Lady Kerry, you've got a Lord Tony in your life, we thank you very, very much indeed. And if your name is Anne-Marie, yep, with a lady before it, and you've got a Sir Michael in your life, and of course Princess Kayleigh in downtown South Wales, we thank you very, very much indeed. And talking about downtown South Wales, if your name is Mountain Man, that's our Lord Lee, he's got a girl in his life called, of course, Lady Vicky. Big, big shout out to you guys, and we're looking forward to seeing you when you come to Pack Force in November, which is not far away. We just passed a place where the word or saying Sherlock Holmes come from. It's the St. Salamone uh, catacombs or St. Salamone area, uh, where I was sitting on the top of it and Mr. Poe, I was teaching him how to say Aya Salamoni. And instead of Aya Salamoni, he said Aya Salam Alaikum. Yes, I said, I did. don't speak Sh Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. And that's where that phrase comes from, by the way. If you are new to the channel, we've got some strange little sayings, haven't we? One of which is that sky is blue, that sea is blue. Mr. Paul is dressed head to toe with blue. All that's missing is is you of course you so get yourself on the big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy and because we all are patient waiting just for you and the word unpatiently i know that it's very very my way it is <laughs> i indeed. like it yes and a big shout out to lord of the julian and his girl lady bridget they're in downtown Florida. They got on the wrong plane, but don't worry, they're going to come back to Path Force next summer. And of course, they're going to stay at the Basilica Holiday Resort. And if you want a tour of the Basilica Holiday Resort, why not go and hunt it down on our little YouTube channel? Pop the magic words Basilica Holiday Resort, Marika and me in the YouTube search bar, and up will come one or two videos and take you around the resort and, of course, even give you a full apartment tour. Now, it just happened we are coming outside the Zorpus Bakery. And of course, there are a chain of shops all over the island, and it's believed to be one of the best bakeries in Cyprus. And they do make some great, great pastries. And talking about this particular branch, if you are in downtown Nantwich and you are part of the Nantwich crew, perhaps, well, big shout out to Lady Jessica. Obviously, a big, big shout out to Lord of the Simon and of course, Princess Megan. But of course, if you are known as Gangster Max, that's one of your favourite stop-offs, isn't it? When you are in downtown Cato Paphos. Yeah, I remember. I remember when they were coming to buy something for the kids, desserts or something that they were wanted or liking here. What it was, I can't remember. Don't forget, I'm growing. I'm getting old. But Zorpa's Bakery, established 1975. Can you imagine? It's just three years younger than me. Unbelievable. You've been lying to me all this time, you see. Anyway, let's keep going. We're on the main drag. If you've just joined us, by the way, perhaps if you fast forward it, don't do it, go back. From Kings Avenue Mall, and we're heading in the direction of the Path Force Harbour. And like I say, if you're doing it on foot with a mission, you're gonna do it in 10 minutes if you're chitter chatting and stopping and starting like us it's going to take you what 15 to 20 minutes plenty of places along the way to distract you whether it be the zorbus bakery catacombs the odd property seller by the way a lot of people like to stop and look in the windows don't they and uh, perhaps fantasize about getting that perfect property in cyprus and there are plenty of places at all sorts of different budgets. If you are going to come and live in Paphos, you're making a great, great choice because it's been voted the greatest city in Europe and it is one of the best tourist destinations in Europe and it's only going to get better and better. And for those of you who keep coming back to our little channel, we'd like to say that big, big thank you. And if you do want to find us, 
Come and hunt us down at the King's Restaurant in downtown Ketapathos as you enter the harbour and you will find an idiot in a blue hat and a pair of sunglasses and sitting right next to him will be his blonde beauty and of course that is Miss Ochin, Gracivia, La Bouffe. Yeah, but now when you walk in in such a pleasant atmosphere you understand that most of the countries now are raped, not wrapped, wrapped in the coats and... and Okay, I just mistaked my word as usual. Wrapped in the coats and warm paltos, should I say coats, very warm furs. Fur, fur. Well, probably not fur, because but it's illegal in Europe. We, but there we are go. here in this beautiful season. We are just enjoying the evening walk. And we're enjoying it that much that you can go uh, and walk longer so you you can make your distance even longer because now it's rather pleasant yes great weather in downtown platforms obviously we are a live channel so we film every single day so if you want to go and hunt back any particular month any particular season scroll back there's quite a few videos for you to watch but of course we're in october right at the beginning of it i'm in a t-shirt i've lived here for 16 years the zilla booth has lived here for 25 years so what we're trying to say to you is we are quite acclimatized we're not tourists and uh, she is now deciding to wear a slightly thicker top yes and, and i must say can i just interrupt you yes you look absolutely fantastic is that a new top again yes 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 is it new pants i have never worn uh, the pants I wore only once. Only once, but the top is definitely new. And you do look very, very pinkish. Thank you. Very nice ensemble of nice shoes, nice pink pants, and a nice view of the rear end with a nice pink handbag and a pinky black blouse. As usual, she looks absolutely amazing. And I do thank you for all the kind comments whenever you say that Marika does look beautiful. Yes. Can you see this old cat? You're becoming obsessed with One, cats. One, two, three. Obviously, someone around here is feeding them, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because they do need to be fed, don't they? Let's keep going. Not far to go. You haven't got to put up with the madness for that much longer. The harbour roundabout will be coming up in a few seconds and then we will start our ascent towards the blue 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 mediterranean sea that's a big step for a little old man there let's keep going we're on the terraces of some of the shops you want some sunglasses perhaps if you want to go and get some storage for your luggage by the way here's the luggage storage pathos there's his name up in lights uh, i think a lot of people know how this works you pop in there and you store your suitcases or your baggage and of course you get charged a fee per hour or discounts as you book in for more and a great great addition to downtown platforms and if you want to watch a proper video on that why not go and hunt it down in our search bar on youtube pathos storage marika and me and up will come a guided tour where we actually show you how it's done and a great great addition to pathos because often when you're staying in a hotel isn't it you are requested to leave at around about midday and if your flight's not until well three o'clock in the afternoon six o'clock or sometimes the early hours of the morning do you really want to be dragging your suitcases around all day no of course you don't following the footsteps of one of our superstars from downtown in Blatislava, if your name is lord of the ritchie and he's got a beauty yep lady of the zuska well they always put their suitcases into the path of storage and go and collect them just a little bit before they head off to the Patros Airport. Everywhere you look, the parkings is full, the ways is full, the, even the pass, uh, pathways is full. Pretty busy, yeah. And everybody, wherever you go, I just look around and it's all full and you think, oh my God, where these old cars should go and park when it's so busy? And Paphos is not that huge town, I would say. It's just... Um, middle. It is quite a middle. small town, but of course downtown Cater Paphos does have to cater for all of the locals. Lots of people who come from Nicosia on weekends, and of course Limassol and Larnaca, and of course on top of that all the tourists. So it can be quite hectic on some occasions. So if you are coming and you want to park a car, there is plenty of parking around, but sometimes you may have to hunt for it. Now the main car parks in this area are totally free of charge but when you see the parking on the road word of warning 
it is one euro per hour and you are restricted to that one hour. Now, the boys and the girls on the little mopeds whizzing around are quite lax, but uh, don't push your luck, I would say. No. Otherwise, you'll get a 25 euro fine. And if you're in a higher car, you won't get away with it, by the way. They are motivated, motivated? Well, they are motivated, obviously, to make some money out of you, but they are notified within 30 minutes. It's all online and all these kind of things now. So, here we are, not much rambling to go. This is the final ascent into the downtown Cairo Paphos Harbour. And if you want to whiz around on an electric scooter, well, there's a gentleman here, and of course Maria is here in the daytime. You come and see her, and she'll do a great deal for you. And don't forget, whenever you go somewhere, to mention the magic words Marie Crumley, because sometimes you might be surprised that you might get a big welcome, you might get a discount, or you might even get a free drink, or a little scoop of ice cream on some of the occasions. Christine? We are in the place now where two twin brothers used to live, Fedros living, and it's very good. Uh, after re renovation, it's becoming even better and better, I think, and from the I think it is, facade, yeah. There especially. it is. Jot that name down and have a look on the internet, pedrosliving.com, and that is an apartment complex above the shops, and as we get closer, of course, you've actually got sea views. Now, a lot of people stay there, but it's never that busy. And I don't understand why, because its location is fantastic and it's very, very reasonably priced, especially out of season. You can get a two bedroom apartment for around about 50 euros a night. Yes, you heard me correctly, 50 euros a night. So if you are thinking about coming to Paphos any time of the year, but certainly out of season, you should go and look that place up, fedrasliving.com. And I always like uh, the shops around Fedros Living and the pancake shops, the cafeterias, and especially our Tijo, where he is working. It's a harbor restaurant. Every time we had a dinner or meal or lunch, it, it was never a bad one there. And the always cocktails and the Bailey's coffee is always Bailey's to die for. could be the best, by the way. So we're about to get to our final destination. Plenty of gift shops, clothes shops, jewelry shops and of course cafeterias along the way. And when we get to the final corner, that will be the Harbour Restaurant, open from early in the morning until late in the evenings. And great menu, great drinks, and as we've just mentioned, I think it could be the greatest Bailey's coffee in downtown Paphos. So there they are, pretty busy. So we're right at the end of the Cater Paphos promenade and we're about to crescendo into the downtown Cater Paphos harbour. So in real time and a bit of chitter chatting and a little bit of monkeying around, that is the walk from the Kings Avenue Mall all the way into the downtown Cater Paphos promenade and harbour area. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, smash that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our travels. Let's have the final word from Ms. Well, Archie. I would we'll like to say Albert. that it was a pleasant walking evening tonight and we wish you were here, our dearest members of family. Don't forget that we're loving and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. Thanks for watching. Was he allowed we'll to be there? He just was there. to your... The the quad, quadro, quadro, quadro Again. cycle. It was whizzing very, around these balls. Very soon. Uh, it was Indeed. much better to whiz around his balls. But. There we go. It's all about the balls. <laughs> Big ones, small ones, whizzing around. La 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 Empty la 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 la